Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ben again, and the LG G5 is arguably the dark horse of MWC 2016. Now, unfortunately, I can't go to MWC because I wasn't invited. Uh, small YouTuber problems. Uh, but anyways, everyone was excited and hyped about the Samsung Galaxy S7, and LG never really gets the opportunity to be talked about. But I think that's about to change. If you're like me and tired of the same old flat slab of a smartphone, then this is probably the phone for you. Outside the usual spec bump, such as a Snapdragon 820, 4GB of RAM, Adreno 530, inclusion of USB Type-C, a premium build, a fingerprint scanner. But the thing is, LG wanted to go far and beyond and gave a whole new view of expandability. And if the thing is, if you took the LG G5 now and popped off the bottom bezel, you can replace the battery, but that's not all. LG actually launched two modules along with the phone and plans to launch more. The first module is called the Cam Plus and is meant to appeal to photographers who work with DSLRs. It's meant to help grip the phone better and features manual controls and zoom. The second module is called the Hi-Fi Plus. It features B&O play and claims to deliver incredible sound, but I'm waiting for it to hit my own ears to be the judge of that. It also features not one, but two headphone jacks and we're hearing rumors that the iPhone 7 will feature no headphone jack, but anywho. A big bonus for both modules is that they come with a built-in battery. I believe it is a 1,200 milliamp hour unit, which combined with the 2,800 milliamp hour unit in the LG G5 will make this a 4,000 milliamp hour of a phone. 4,000 milliamp hour battery which will make this a beast of a phone when it comes to battery life. The slots also transmit data via USB 3.0. And I don't know about you guys, but this G5 modules thing reminds me a little bit of the phone blocks and Project Aura concept. Uh, launched along the G5 and the modules are the so-called friends, which include a 360, 360 cam which is a 360 degree handheld action camera that shoots 4K video as well as LG as well as the LG rolling bot which to put it simply is a sphero on steroids. You're also getting an always on display with the G5, a feature found on the Moto X, the new Nexus phones and the brand new Samsung Galaxy S7. LG claims it only uses 0.3 to 0.8% battery per hour and we wish all of them were on our Android Wear watches but now they're making it to our phones. So that's awesome. And anyways, that's pretty much it. The LG G5 has many incredible perks and I can't wait to have it in my hands to do a hands-on for you guys because I can't get devices shipped to me because them companies don't notice a guy with few subscribers. They only notice like the 100K and 1 million subs. But if an LG representative sees this, hey, just send me an email to my business email. I'll be happy to answer it to show these devices on my channel. But anyways, guys, that was the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Thanks for watching, and this has been Vasquez signing out. A big bonus for both modules is that, is that 